Agreed. You're either acting yeah. or you're singing. Yeah. Who cares? Stop acting yeah. like you're the God's gift to the world. Do we really need to play his record? Like, yeah. is the world going to end? Man, Sammy came into work skipping today. She was so happy. She said uh, last night she got the notification that uh, Diddy, Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, <laughs> yes. yeah. P. Diddy. Oh, my God. You're bouncing off the wall. Had, uh, had been arrested at his hotel in New York City. This is in connection with the sex trafficking allegations. I'm so happy. I, I wanted him were... to get arrested when they did the raid. We all know he's a pile of trash. <laughs> and and how do you know needs... that? Let me add, for the, I'm, yeah. I'm just for the sake of being fair and having the argument here. I feel like, like there's you know been so many stories over the years, and you can see how just like angry and abusive he is and then all of this stuff coming out by so many people you're like he's so guilty and i'm sure there's so much more that we don't even know about well, didn't he like kick a woman down the hall yes, yeah well, that, was on, that, that was on video yeah. that was yes. that uh, cassie whatever her name yeah. is yeah yeah i was sh i'm shocked on how invested sammy is <laughs> into hating p diddy which i'm on board with because i've i've known pd p diddy sucks since like the day I started in radio. Oh, yeah. What was that story? Wasn't it your first day? Or? Yeah, it was my very first day, my very first like five minutes in a radio station. And <laughs> ever. He, ever. And P. Diddy's there and he's screaming at the uh, at the radio personalities off the air mm. about some crap. And he's like yelling at people. He's like threatening people uh, with his bodyguards and things like that. So I've known since day one. He's not a dude, good He's dude. He's not a good person. Right. Yeah. Not a good and person. It sucks because there wasn't really any like proof mm -hmm. of like hard like, evidence. A, a hard evidence. But, you know, you have that Cassie video of him sure. beating her up in in a hallway in a hotel. So at least you have that that you can say, Hey, look, here's here's some proof that you cannot deny. Right. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's a, a sealed indictment. That apparently will be unsealed today, so oh. we'll have we'll have some more specifics. Open it. Let Sammy open it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let me. But like since, the Emmys, please. <laughs> yeah, but since uh, last November, he's been hit with ten lawsuits alleging rape and trafficking and some other crimes. You know, remember the feds raided his homes, like yeah. uh, what was that Miami mm -hmm. and L A? Uh, yeah, L A. and Miami, both of them. And right. Diddy, of course, says that he's innocent. Of course. Oh, but we'll, sure. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> what kind of cake for your party would you like? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Sammy. cheesecake? Yeah, he can bunk with Weinstein. Oh, uh, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's not doing too well either. That no. must be so crazy, though, because, like, again, you're, I don't know, you're super famous, you're mega pillar. rich. Yeah. You have, like, you know, you can do anything in the world, and then suddenly you're in a jail cell. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing, because Surreal. I think that goes to your head that you think you can do anything. You're yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, you are in jail. I, I yep. thought about that all the time with the Bill Cosby story. Right. Yeah. Talk mm -hmm. about going from the highest of highs where you were just so just well loved. respected, universally loved, oh, just America's loved. respected. Dad. You walked on water. Yeah. Exactly. And now you're a scumbag, you know, rapist. Pariah. Destroy your legacy. I yeah. think that's more crazy, the Bill Cosby, because at least we kind of knew that. Yeah, Diddy, Diddy was, was never like right. held on a pedestal he, being a great guy. Right. Yeah. Never but, was America's dad. But right. the Bill Cosby, the complete 180 from oh, yeah. being beloved to you're yeah. a monster. Yeah. Back back to what Mena said about Diddy at the radio station, yelling at people and whatnot. Yeah. I wish somehow, as a society, or for lack of a better term, we could take the entertainment industry as a whole and stop making it such an a-hole industry. It's not serious. I know. Yeah. Because yeah. People are I, always yelling. You have We have audio of actors going off on crews. We have, you know, evidence of celebrities yelling at people, berating people. It's oh, good like that, for you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like just <laughs> you're, like, you're either acting yeah. or you're singing. Yeah. Uh, who cares? Stop acting yeah. like you're the God's gift to the world. Again, when I, yeah, I'm at the radio station. He's screaming at everybody like. About what? Do we really need to play his record? Yeah. Like, is the world going to end? Yeah. Right. Like, why do we care so much? We have so, we know a lot of people who just suck up to these artists yeah. and these record labels yeah. and act like they're the president of the United States right. or something. Like, yeah, no. Because well, they're like, allowed to act that way. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. But it's I'm sure so, for a long time, I was like, well, but, you but know, that's, that's just Diddy. I wish yeah. we could change that somehow. Yeah. It's so weird how it's like, oh, as if you're never going to be able to find anybody <laughs> else with that much talent and that much whatever mm -hmm. that they can just run them up yeah. and do whatever they want. Did you ever work for somebody who was a yeller and a screamer? Um, I did. I worked for a number of those people. <laughs> not, I mean, not over the top. 
Oh, oh, I have. Yeah, no, I, I have. Over the top. <laughs> they would throw things at you, all yeah, kinds of stuff. No, I remember the one guy that threw something at you. At me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were we had a meeting, and I guess you were typing on your computer, and he thought you weren't listening, so he like threw a box of tea at you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, our okay. best friend. Yeah, it's totally normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but no, that um, that's nothing. I was I was thinking about man. I oh, like I worked, more hardcore. Yeah, there yeah. was a uh, this one guy I worked for, and the ratings were coming out that day. And this was a programming assistant who was in charge of getting the the you know the numbers. Yeah. Um, and so he went on to at the time it was a company called Arbitron, and there were always oh, problems. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. With Arbitron's website and downloading these. This is like maybe two thousand. Yeah. Okay. And so. We're in a meeting, and this assistant comes in and goes, hey, sorry, man, I'm having a problem getting... The guy jumped up, grabbed this kid, pulled him in the office, closed the door, put him up against the door, and goes, you get me those effing numbers, even if you have to call them and you write them down by hand. Next time you come in here, have those effing numbers. He's like, okay, okay. (laughs) Real serious stuff. Absolutely stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he would, like, you know... This is the same guy yeah. who like, tossed up and oh god, yeah, get you know. over your because they're doing but heart surgery. <laughs> nobody, no, I know. But here's the thing: nobody complained and nobody really cared. Yeah. Yeah. It was normal. Even the kid who was supposed mm. to be getting the numbers, like he didn't complain, didn't care. It's like how mm. uh, football coaches can't yell at the kids anymore. It used to be the football yeah. coaches yeah. grab the kid by the face mask yeah. and oh, smack yeah. him on the side oh, of the head a yeah. hundred right. times, like. What are you thinking? Use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. I, this stuff. Yeah, you can't do that either. That, that stuff stopped affecting affecting me after the first time I got fired, because then I, after I got fired, I'm like, oh, you know what? I didn't die. Yeah, you know, like and you I, get I, another I, job. And I was able life to move, will, life on. Will move on, right? And then so when I came back and I was dealing with the yellers, like yeah. it didn't really like whatever. There was dude. a guy, and in fact, he's the he's the guy mm-hmm. who um, told me I couldn't use my real name, Jeff, on the air. <laughs> And mm-hmm. this is where I got the the, the name Woody. Mm-hmm. I was just sitting in a meeting with this yeah. same guy. Anyway, he wasn't a yeller, but he was very intimidating. Yeah, he was extremely mm-hmm. intimidating, and like you just wanted to work so hard for this guy. Like I yeah. learned more working for this guy. I think I had just straight fear of pissing him off or right. disappointing him, or he mm-hmm. wouldn't want me at the station anymore. But that that's... was very young and early in my career. Yeah. But like I I think. I thank God that I, I worked for him when I did. Right, it, it was the perfect timing to work. If for I worked like for that guy now, I would tell him to go f himself. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and I would never listen to him. That's yeah. so funny. But at that time, like I learned so much from him. And he was tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I had there's the a same difference. thing. Yeah, yeah, a program director. My my very first program director, not a yeller by any means, but super intimidating. And if you wanted to talk to him, and this is your direct supervisor, you had to make an appointment with his assistant. What? So you couldn't just run in if you, <laughs> you had, had an issue. Knock, knock. No, it was you had to go see Diana, and she had to schedule an appointment, and it might be three days from now. Yeah, open I was door... just wondering where the stapler uh-huh. was. Yeah, right. <laughs> open door policies are more of a new thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 back in those days, it was a big oh, deal. Yeah. To Don't go to their office. Talk to the program director. Uh, Greg, what did you literally just learn about puppies? Oh, this is kind of embarrassing. I had no idea <laughs> that puppies lose their teeth. Yes. Really? Yeah. What? I have a friend who recently got a puppy, and she's mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, I keep on finding these puppy teeth around the house. I so said, baby yeah. wait a minute, puppy teeth? Well, why yeah. would you find teeth? Well, because they lose their teeth like humans do. And then, and I said, what? Yeah, th- <laughs> oh, th- wow. this is something I learned in adulthood, too. I mean, I learned it was shocking. this like, three days ago. <laughs> really? I had wow. no clue. Well, if you shopped and didn't adopt, you would know this already. <laughs> but... <laughs> They're like little baby needles, too. Yeah, they're really they're sharp. So sharp. Yeah. But I did not know that. Yeah. Wait, so they just like gum it until their adult teeth come in? How do they no, eat? They have, no, they, they have little baby puppy baby. teeth. Right. Uh huh. That I think but they're they, born with, right? They, I mean, they're born with the little yeah, baby puppy teeth, they, but right. then they don't all fall out at once. Right. right. But like, like when a, when human, a human kid's tooth falls out, it's just a big, big old gap there. Yeah. Until it grows until, in. Right. Yeah. yeah. I guess you're right. They don't all fall out. <laughs> yeah, they're all falling out. Oh, I see what yeah. you're saying. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I you, like, they don't need they were, dentures. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing they don't fall out. They're milk, right? yeah. milk teeth. <laughs> they're what? Yeah. Milk teeth. Milk yeah. milk teeth. In, uh, in other words, they're designed for milk. Uh, uh, milkies. And kittens have the same thing. Right? Yeah, you'll find oh, them in like their bowls. Weird. It is weird. Did you know that for real, Jenna, I, I knew it. I, I learned it recently okay. because we were trying to explain to the kid about this. And I looked it up. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess they do have baby teeth. <laughs> I didn't know Damn that. It. See, I meant to make a note because there was something much like how Greg for the longest time into a, like adulthood, like well, legit well, adulthood, yeah. 
thought that all domestic house cats were female. Yeah. <laughs> what? Because they're yeah. just so girly. <laughs> Don't you think? There was something, man, something came up recently where I'm like, wow, I never knew that. People are like, you never, you never knew that? I go, no, I never knew that. No. God, what was it? Oh, it'll, I'll, it'll, 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 it'll come to me. it comes to you. It'll come. Mm. The first person I thought of was Greg. Yeah, well. I like, know. I was today years old when the, I realized yeah. X, Y, Z. So do you think, yeah. that, did you think that they bred, like they went out to get male cats and bred them? Yeah, like Tom I, cats? You know what? Yeah. I, in retrospect, <laughs> it's highly embarrassing and it had, it was based in zero logic, obviously. Right. I never gave it a second thought. I just thought, oh, there's a cat, female. <laughs> they're just so <laughs> fancy. You're right, they're just dainty, fancy, yeah. delicate. God, so stereotypical, you know? I know. Get <laughs> over it. It's problematic. Weak. It is. A uh, new Coast Guard animation video shows that uh, Titan submersible, the oh, yeah. sub that yeah. imploded. The final messages to the support ship before it imploded it said, oh, all good here. Is it? Oh, boy. And it then about two minutes second. after the final message, they lost tracking on the sub. Also turns out that the uh, the Titan had already had dozens of documented issues during previous trips, including 70 equipment issues in 2021 and 48 issues in 2022. Which wow. the, obviously were minor because mm -hmm. the, they still went down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, who knows? I mean, well, I think the people on board was it their Xbox controller that needed to replace? It yeah. wasn't even an Xbox. I, I would have. It's like I would, generic. Yeah, yeah. They got like it's a knockoff. You guys yeah. remember Comp USA? Of course. Yes. Um, oh. If I would have gotten to this sub and I would have saw like a video game controller, I'd be like, Nah, we're good. I'm, I'm, right. I'm out. Yeah. And you you're I am adventurous. I'm yeah. not that adventurous. And wasn't there some billionaire on there? Yeah. Yeah. Why do billionaires always want to risk their lives? I know. Hey, the last one who did it worked out fine for him. That did. Yeah. Yeah. It's because he's, he's with Elon. That's why. Right. Yeah. That's I mean, true. I think what like Rulon. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> like I, I would. I think it'd be cool to go down and see the Titanic wreggage. Oh, for I sure. Wouldn't, would I wouldn't do it in something cool. that looked like somebody built in their garage. No, I would right. do the James Cameron one. Yeah. The nice yes. one. We already have a system. Yeah. yeah. These guys are like, we're gonna reinvent the wheel. No. Nope. Yeah. 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 In a disregard all that. In a metal garbage can. Woodley show. So, Greg, I thought about you. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, you can rent the Manson Murder House. I thought they tore that down and rebuilt it. For a whopping $225,000 a month. Oh, God. Wow. It's the estate where Charlie Manson slaughtered Sharon Tate, her right. unborn baby, and four others back in 1969. Oh! oh. Somewhat remote part of Beverly Hills. Nine bedrooms, ten bathrooms, a waterfall pool, fire pit, hot tub that's built into this like small cave. Mm -hmm. It's also got a uh, pizza oven, movie theater, gym, game room, and lots of history. Sounds fun. Yeah. yeah so two hundred and twenty-five dollars or two hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Doesn't the guy? Am I talking out a turn here? Doesn't the guy from? Full house own it. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that it's, like crazy? The, it's like the creator of uh, Franklin. Yeah. 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 Jeff Franklin. I, I'm with Greg. I thought it was just the land. It wasn't the actual house. Yeah. I think yeah. it was rebuilt. Well. Yeah. Are so we talking about the same house or not the not the grocery store couple that they slaughtered? Oh, the La, La Bianca. The La Biancas. Yeah. No, no, this was the Sharon Tate one. Oh yeah. And I'm pretty yeah, sure they tore it down and rebuilt it. But then remember, we were bagging on Trent Reznor for because he took the door. Yeah, yeah he right. saved yeah. the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like try hard. Uh, a house in North Carolina that was featured on an episode of Hoarders was just listed for five point two five million. Whoa! Now it was a mess. I know this house. You do? You know, I'm obsessed with hoarders. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this this very bougie, like, upper-middle-class gay couple... It's an English Tudor revival. Bought this... Mansion-turned-Airbnb yeah. now. Yeah. Oh! Bought this huge house from this old bat who her husband died, and she was she claimed to be a designer, and she was just, like, like crawling through hoard and would sleep in the car out front and harassing them, and this is a fantastic episode. Yeah, so when the house was on the show, season nine... It was just filled with dolls and yeah. moldy furniture and a rusty antique pea pot yeah. that the owner refused to get rid of. And so now, just listed for $5.25 million, Jeez. and uh, they've been using it as like an Airbnb, 1600 bucks a night. Wow. Damn, I want to go check it out there, Gina. I would. Really, you should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, oh, going back to murder houses real quick with... Uh, Greg, I brought this up before because there was some murder house where ten people like got killed in it, and I said, "Greg, would you buy that house?" And he's like, "If I can get a deal, yeah, <laughs> <don't> absolutely, <laughs> I, I would." Uh, I'm not sure if you saw this one, but I I thought uh, I wanted to get Greg's opinion on this. Right. So the guy who sold a house to Jeff Bezos in Miami Beach, you see this story? I yeah. did, okay. and I don't really have any sympathy for the seller. Me neither. Like, who cares who you're selling yeah. it to? So. This guy sold a house to Jeff Be Amazon, Jeff right. Bezos, yeah. Miami Beach. 
Wasn't it like fifty-eight million? Or He's something suing like that? the realtor because the realtor didn't tell him it was Jeff Bezos who was buying his house. The homeowner's pissed because he sold it for less than the asking price. Yeah, and he said, "Obviously, I wouldn't have done that if I would have known I was selling the house to a mega billionaire." Oh God! Because yeah, they got a little bit of a discount, mm-hmm. which yeah. has got to hurt. Yeah, like so the house is listed bucks. at eighty-five million. And Jeff Bezos bought it for only seventy nine million. Ooh. Oh, he got robbed! Oh, I know, boo hoo! Like, like you what does it matter? Like, you agree to the price, price. Yeah. Yeah. right? The you person shouldn't rich. matter. Yeah. And for all we know, whoever has bought one of our houses in the past could have afforded more. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's and, how it, you negotiate. And just because Jeff Bezos has a ton of money, or somebody has a ton of money, doesn't mean they necessarily want to spend more, more. than they need yeah. to on yeah. something. Not trying to part with it. Can they? Sure. Yeah, c- but I think course. just that's a that's a human nature thing. Like yeah. nobody wants to pay more. But right. whoever's they buying this house has a ton of money. <laughs> Let's yeah. go ahead and yeah. assume yeah. that. Yeah. It's a house listed with. for eighty five million. <laughs> right. You're mm-hmm. doing okay. And if you can figure out how to let it go for seventy nine, something tells me you're okay. You're gonna yeah. land on your feet. Yeah, you'll right. Be all and right. if you've ever done a real estate transaction, you usually don't know the buyer until the Correct. paperwork is getting right. going. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then you see their name. All right, eight seven seven forty four Woody. The phone number here at the radio station. If you would like to call in and be a part of the show this morning, text us, of course. You can do that over to 22987. Fun fact, Charlie Manson never killed anyone. His family, yeah. quote unquote. That's true. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cult leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think anybody was unclear on that. Yeah, I know. But like Manson, that whole like uh, every time I see something about him, like how did anybody ever follow this guy? I know. Didn't you see immediately like you see him, you go, all right, he's nuts. Yeah, he's insane. He looks like a dirty elf. Right. Uh, Right. Before social media. More uh, Woody (laughs) shows coming up. Hang on. 